Hey guys, welcome to another unboxing video. I've been on a roll and have had some amazing watches coming through here. So let's get started. My most recent video, which was actually earlier this evening, I opened a brand new Aries uh, Diver 1. And uh, if you want, the link is in my YouTube channel. You can take a look. That's what I'm wearing right now, as you can see. And uh, I actually put the green strap on. The video shows the black strap, but they're both great. And uh, this is a really cool watch. So highly recommend you get your hands on one. Um, they retail about $6.95. So, all right. So today, very exciting. Um, we have the Atlantic Chronoscope R34 limited edition watch um, brought to you by um, Monroe Watches of uh, England. And the company is very interesting. It was founded just a few years ago and had a lot of success with its one of its first lines called the Coniston. And uh, amongst those, the Bluebird, which was the blue version, was a bestseller and sold out at this point. So uh, they've made watches and all of them have been limited runs and almost all of them I believe have sold out. Uh, this is their newest uh, watch that they just recently produced at the end of 2020. And it um, it's based on a uh, design an homage, you could say, to early aviation, uh, specifically to uh, the Atlantic, which was a um, which was a blimp. And um, the the owners of this watch company, they they like to honor those who are adventurers and put their lives on the line for progress. And I think that's very uh, I think that's very honorable and. Uh, I think it's a cool way to kind of design a watch around. Uh, so if you want to fast forward through this video uh, to get to the actual watch, great. Uh, if not, I'm going to unbox it. I've never seen the watch myself, so this may take a little while, but we'll get through it. All right. And this was, I believe, one of, I want to say, 1,000 watches but I'm not 100% certain about that. Might have been one out of, yeah, I think one out of a thousand sounds about right. So, and I bought the second to last one and I told my friend to buy the last one. I don't know if he did, but. All right, so upon opening the, the box, there's a little quote here, there's a little paragraph that's in and there's, this is really cool. And you can see, you got the, uh, I was gonna say the Zeppelin, but the blimp. I mean, can you imagine what those must have been like? Back in the day, they were probably so long. They were like quarter mile or more long. Atlantic, to soar into the sky and float aloft in the wind, peering down on the world below, knowing that if you so wished, you could touch the stars. Welcome to the Atlantic chronoscope, born from a love of, of flight, inspired by the pioneering spirits that risked life and limb to achieve it, as I said. So we're going to remove protective cardboard and here is the box very nice and tidy very British very practical not, not too heavy all right and there's a nice note here let's see what it says oh that's just a receipt okay and we will find out how many of these watches will produce because they it is marked on the watch one of And of note, uh, the company asked me if I wanted to pay for customs ahead of time. And I believe it was $100. And I said no, because I had never had any issues with customs with other watches from foreign, from Europe and, and Russia. And uh, yeah, I got hit with customs and I thought I was going to pay more than 100 Turns out I paid 66 So 
lesson to the wise, you know, you're taking your chances, but sometimes you win. All right, so here's the moment where we're gonna open the box. I'm very excited, I'm a little nervous. All right. Okay, there's a whole bunch of literature here. show you. Marlowe, M-A-R-L-O-E. Looks like the, this is another one of their watches there. I don't know all their watches, but they're all pretty damn cool. Look at that. <laughs> well, if you don't like that, I mean, you must have just been born yesterday, but that, I mean, look at this. Look how cool that is. I mean, that's a beauty. So, anyway, these are for, more formal watches, I would say. Um, you know, not sport watches. Okay, so let's set that aside. And here we go. Uh, one more little thing here. Looks like a, an official, uh, kind of old school inspired uh, guide. It says it's 43 millimeters diameter. 22 centimeter, uh, millimeters lug width and 15 millimeters thick. Okay, so this isn't a small watch. This is a, this is a, a substantial watch. It's got a mechanical automatic Seiko NE88A. You want to just take a look, take a screenshot of that if you like. Oh, that's not going to work. Okay. And 100 meters water resistant, uh, sapphire crystal. It's got the hacking function, oh, anti-reflective coating, rotor winding is dual direction, quick set date complication, 117 grams. And 45 hour power reserve, that's nice. Okay, that I would expect that from, from a higher end watch though. Uh, accuracy is like 15 to 25 per day. Okay, so. Here we go. I'm going to let you guys experience the moment with me. <laughs> Beyond expectation. That's, that's kind of cool. And padded. With a little leather on top. Very nice touch. And here we are. My little baby. So uh, I got it on green, which was an unusual choice. They did not have it on that picture that I showed you with in the, um, the beige, but they had a darker brown. So I decided to go with green, but they were so nice to say that they would offer me the beige ba band, uh, the lighter brown band, I should say, at half off when it becomes available. So the company was very accommodating. So let's take a look here. Okay, there's a little bit of scuffing of the band from transportation, getting just bumped around, but it's not too bad. Just a bit of scuffing and it's come off, peeling off, but that's okay. So, and um, that's, a, that's a beautiful watch right there. Very beautiful. Uh, I'll show you here what we're looking at. Show you from the side. Mm -hmm. So um, let's take a look and see what we've got here. So we've got uh, two uh, chronometer time pushers here, and the crown, um, which is got this cool kind of chiseled, kind of almost like a rotor turbine look to it. I'm not sure if you can see. I'm using my iPhone, so, you know, apologies, but I'll try. And um, we've got uh, three striking, you know, hands here. We've got very nice, long, elongated, um, white second hand. And uh, both, all three are loomed. 
appear, uh, apparently. I guess we'll find out. And it says on the top, Marlowe Watch Company, Atlantic. And the 12 is very prominent, the only number on there. Um, besides the um, the um, the hour chronometer meter. chronometer, And um, let's see here. At the bottom, it says British design. And it counts 1 to 60 along the edge of the dial. And there's a kind of a beveled uh, blue, the blue dial is beveled. Or, uh, has, see that? You can see that there. It's like um, uh, like a design feature with texture. And it's sitting uh, just below the um, white strip around it of the edge of the dial. So um, let's see here. And uh, there's so much to say. I mean, there, <laughs> there's a lot going on here. Uh, let's take a look at the, at the clasp. Clasp is highly stylized with these ridges. It's got an M from Marlowe, as you can see. Uh, it's a very nice band. Uh, you know, it's too bad that, like I showed you a little bit, a little bit came apart here from the edges, but you know, scuffs happen, so it's leather, you know. Let bygones be bygones, right? Okay. Open this puppy up. This is cool. I like the dual tone band. It's got red on the inside here, like a magenta, actually, and uh, the green on the outside. So it gives it a really, actually a really fun look. It has a very nice feel to it. Very high end, grippy, nice feel. It says Marlowe Watch Company. Now, the back, obviously, this is one of the highlights of the watch. Beautiful display. And um, it's sapphire both in front and in back. Uh, Japan, Japanese movement, 34 jewels. Uh, first edition. It says here 119. That's the um, number. So my serial number. I actually chose it out, and that was out of 1,000. Um, so, very exciting. Uh, as you can see, there's some movement, good movement there. And it's a it's a large it's a large watch, so it's pretty hefty. You're not gonna forget it. it's on your wrist like like this little dainty little watch comparatively. That's you know my little small tank, and then this is like refinement, you know, five. Big, big time. Um, you're not going to mistake this watch for any other watch. You know, it's definitely its own watch. It's its own creation. Um, yeah, there are other, you know, panda dials and such, but not with these, um, not with these details, not with this color combination. You know, also, also, there's a date uh, right there in the uh, four o'clock position that I didn't mention earlier. And you have these two beautiful white dials to contrast. So, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool watch. Uh, you know, I, I am getting used to the green on um, blue, and I think in the long term, I'm going to like it. Uh, I can always, you know, swap it out with the company for another watch, you know, another um, band, or maybe just get my own, you know. But typically, I just want to support the company, so I'll probably end up buying another band in the... Um, lighter color and I think that that'll be more of a classic travel kind of look you know um, but they said their creative designer you know <laughs> where's the green so that convinced me I said okay if he can do it I can do it and um, I'm gonna try this watch out let's see how it looks on my wrist all right on my left wrist but just another look at this watch because it's just so cool This is a totally different vibe. This is, I mean, you're talking like international travel, totally great watch for that. Uh, you know, just fun to look at. I mean, this is, it's very pleasant on the eyes. It's e easy to read. You can, you know, track um, multiple time zones, um, seconds gone by on a flight, you know, or hours gone by on a flight until you're there. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm not going to go ahead and set the time right now.
because that'll take a little longer, but I'm going to show you what it looks like on my wrist. Now, what's nice is the band. I don't know if you have, if you have a big wrist, the band is very long. I mean, this leather band is like, or the strap is, it's, it's, this will fit like a six inch wrist. I mean, if you're a bodybuilder, because I mean, this is a big watch. So I'm going to actually put it a little tighter there, not too tight, and close. Oh, I'm glad that the second holder, loop holder, the, the um, moves, you know, sometimes they're fixed. No, this one moves, so I can actually close it. I'm getting a very nice, uh, gr like, grip from the um, perfect, kind of these, like, bumpy edges here that you can see on the inside, the grooves actually are also there slightly. And so they give you like a kind of a grip, which is nice with a bigger watch, you know. Actually, it's amazing. You, you wouldn't think it would matter that much, but it does. So I'm gonna come over there and see, show you what I've got on my wrist here. So this is the, uh, this is the Marlowe Atlantic M34. And you know, it, it's it's a nice size watch. What did I say? Forty three millimeters. Yeah, forty three millimeters and fifteen inches um, thick. So, so I'm gonna get a better view. There you go. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, that's it for tonight. Enough excitement. Two watches, I would say. Uh, till the next time, we're going to uh, definitely show you the um, looms, uh, these watches in the dark. I'm planning on doing a loom video, a comparison between the watches that I've shown here and some of my higher-end watches, including a Tudor and a Rolex. Uh, no, excuse me, not a Rolex. I don't own one of those. A Tudor and an Omega uh, or Omega, if you like, with uh, this watch on my hand. I'm thinking I'm Mr. International, you know, man of mystery here, but to fly to London. And, I mean, th this watch, I'll tell you, I mean, it makes you feel like a million dollars. Like, I mean, this is nice. This is nice. All the design that they put into this. This, this company is all about a story, design, functionality, execution. Um, they are going to be hugely successful. Marlowe, you know, hopefully they don't get bought out by Fossil like tomorrow, but if they don't, <clears throat> you know, even if they do, that's, but, you know, hopefully they stay independent for as long as they can. And people like us, you know, keep on uh, buying their watches and making it worthwhile for them. All right. Uh, talk to you soon. And, um, Stay tuned for the next one. Watch my videos, comments, questions below.